So I'm sitting here brewing myself a pot of coffee and trying to remember what the hell it was that I was dreaming about last night, which was like the perfect introduction video to give me some English. <laughs> and I can't remember any of it, except that uh, it was going to be awesome. So I'm just sitting here talking, and so is my coffee machine, um, hoping that the ideas will come out. But basically, um, why am I making English videos? Uh, well, because even though there are a lot of good videos out there about different uh, pronunciation and grammatical points and, uh, you know, phrasal verbs, idioms, all that kind of stuff, um, there are a lot that uh, kind of suck. <laughs> uh, and when I'm trying to find these types of resources for my students, um, sometimes I just can't, uh, because they don't exist or there'll be a good video uh, that has a lot of really good information. And then one thing that the person says in the video is something that I completely disagree with. And, um, usually these types of things are, uh, points of information that are fairly common to give as far as teachers and textbooks, but it's information which seems like nobody has ever really thought about the fact that it is wrong. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I'm that guy because, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's because I never got an English degree and this allows me to see things in a different way. I haven't been indoctrinated by the proper methods of teaching grammar and all that stupid shit. And so, uh, when I started teaching English after I got my certification to do so, and uh, I started using the different resources and textbooks that are available for teachers to teach the lessons, uh, I started realizing that there is a bunch of stuff in these textbooks and a bunch of practices that teachers do that really makes absolutely no sense. And it's right there in front of everybody's face, and it's almost as if nobody sees it. However, when I do point it out to other teachers, they're like, oh yeah, that's kind of strange. Oh well, uh, anyways, that's what the book says, so that's what we're going to teach. No, fuck that. That's not the way I'm going to teach, and that's why I don't work for traditional language schools anymore. I was, uh, I was that guy. <laughs> I was the guy that was always causing troubles with the administration, and then, um, this was amazing. I don't know, I, I, I guess this was prayers being answered or something, but it seemed that whenever I was in trouble with the administration for breaking the rules because I was telling the truth, um, <clears throat> my students would always go to the administration and say, we don't want to take any other classes with your school unless it's with, uh, you know, our teacher. There's my coffee maker agreeing with me. So that's not really, um, you know, meant to, to uh, I guess, I guess I was saying that just to say that I'm qualified to do so. But you know what? Really, that doesn't matter. If you have a brain in your head and you can think of, uh, you know, you can reason and discern and you can see truth for what it is, then you're qualified. And um, one of the reasons, one of the other reasons that I'm doing these is because there are a lot of people out there who need to learn English, including native speakers who grew up learning English and that's their first language. Some of those people have terrible English skills. So anyways, there are a lot of people that need to learn English that need to be treated with the respect that they are due, not with the traditions of teaching English where, yeah, well, you know, that's true, but we don't want to confuse the students. That's bullshit. Thank you, coffee maker. Coffee maker agreeing with me again. I trust that my students are smart, that they can understand reason even if they have difficulty at the moment or at the level that they're at with certain grammatical structures, well, hopefully I can explain things in a way that doesn't cause that confusion. And I will never say, this is really difficult. This is really uh, a confusing part of English. That is the stupidest thing that anyone could ever say. I've written about this in blog posts and gotten very passionate and emotional about this. And that right there, <laughs> that was one of the things from my dream. That was one of the, that's the main reason why I am making videos is because so many of the other English videos that are available on YouTube and 
probably a lot of other places, have really great information, but then at some point the teacher says, this is really difficult, or this is really confusing, or this is a thing, something that causes lots of problems with students. That is bullshit. It's not difficult. It's not confusing. It's not something that's going to cause you problems. Anything that a person learns when they first learn it and it is completely new feels awkward and different. And it might need uh, a little more effort to learn it. But the way that the brain works is once you do a thing and then you do it again, then your brain starts realizing patterns and it starts associating those patterns with other things that you already know. And your your brain starts creating these neural pathways so that the next time it's easier and the next time it's easier and then it's easier and easier and easier. And then next you get it. And then suddenly you're like, Oh my God, I completely understand that. And that's what happened with me with teaching grammar. Cause I'll tell you what, there are a lot of English teachers out there. Um, who are, <clears throat> excuse me, who are teaching English as a foreign language or second language all around the world. There are a lot of them who absolutely don't know anything about grammar. And I was one of those people in my first year, a year and a half of teaching English. That's why the Americans, uh, or probably some British people too, I don't know, pff, you know, but, um, that's why if you have a teacher like that, they will always be teaching intermediate because that's the level that has the least amount of questions about grammar because the students don't want to ask the questions and the teachers probably can't even answer them. But I had that aha moment because I was doing things over and over and over again and the neural pathways were created and then boom, oh, I get it. And then once I got that, I started, that's when I realized, wait a second, that's completely not true. Why the hell would they say that? And that happened so often and it still happens because I teach for another school and the materials that they give me to teach some of them is just ridiculous so anyways that's what I'm here for I guess this is kind of my introduction video the last thing the reason why it's taken so long for me to make videos is because I thought that I had to have a good camera and have you know at least a studio type thing so it didn't look like that grainy video of the guy that has a whiteboard in his garage and <laughs> making videos you know some of those videos although they look very amateur and um crappy some of those have the best information but there are plenty of other people on here that are killing it on youtube without ever showing their face and i don't need to show my face um, besides I work at home, so I don't like to shave anymore <laughs> and I've been growing my hair out and, um, you know, some, a lot of people out there like to judge people on their looks. I, I don't want those people around. Um, and they probably wouldn't stick around anyway, because those t are also the type of people that would judge me, uh, for saying shit in an English lesson, but that's authentic English. That's who I am. That's what you're going to get here. So welcome and uh well stay so i'll talk to you soon <laughs> <laughs>